bit too much sugar today. Um, today I'm going to review Tilly in the Buttons Agnes pattern. Um, I am wearing it now. This is my art gallery fabric uh, version that I made. Here you can see I've got a nice full circle skirt on with it um, and I made the long sleeve plain version. I absolutely love this pattern. Massive thumbs up Tilly, thank you so much for bringing this pattern into the world. It's an absolute delight and it is such a versatile pattern uh, for your wardrobe. I am going to be making loads of these. I'm sure that's why you designed it. Um, it's the most yeah, versatile top, I'll be wearing it to work and also at the weekends. Really, really like it. Um, I made it probably in about two hours, um, so it's quite nice and quick to make up. Um, so for beginners, obviously it might take a little bit longer, but I would definitely recommend it as an easy pattern um, to start with knits. Really, really is great. Um, there's two variations that are on the front cover, neither of which I did. I just did the completely plain one, so there is a plain variation. You just basically don't have the little pleat in the front here. Um, there's also an option to do a, a sort of pleated, a, a gathered sleeve as well, um, but I decided not to do that. Um, I just thought that I would be, um, yeah, I'd wear a plain one more, which um, I probably will. So yeah, I literally can't say a bad word about this pattern. It's just so great. The instructions inside are really easy to follow. There's something happening outside. There's a lot of beeping. Poppy, what's going on? It's probably just somebody parking badly. Sorry, guys. So, can't, the instructions are brilliant, really easy to follow, lots of lovely step-by-step um, -step photos, Tilly's great at explaining things, so yeah, your, your hand is held throughout the process of making this, this top. Um, I made the size 2, um, which I thought was going to be a little bit small for me, but actually it's fine. Uh, I think maybe in a, a fabric that wasn't quite as stretchy, it might be a bit too small, but... Yeah, it's fine. I didn't need to make any alterations at all to the length of the sleeves. You can see my arms. I don't know if my arms are particularly long. I don't think so. But yeah, that was perfect. Um, the height of the, the neckline, perfect. It's not too boobs on show, but it's also not too covered up for church. Um, yeah, really perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. The length as well was fine, although I'm not so fussy about length of things because I generally tuck everything in, but that was also fine. Really recommend it. Um, so I'm definitely going to be making more of these and I've already started eyeing up some jersey that I want to buy to make some more Agnes's. So yeah, go out there and get one, guys. Really, really great pattern. Um, you will get your money's worth because you'll just make loads of them. Oh, I should also say that I did use a combination of overlocking and also... Um, zigzag stitching uh, because I wanted to see what it would be like if you didn't have an overlocker um, and also I wasn't so sure about the zigzag stitching whether it would look nice or not but it's absolutely fine the zigzag stitching it looks fine it's I think it's really pretty actually a nice detail um, and what's great is Tilly tells you what width um, and what stitch length she uses for the different types of um, stitching so she uses the zigzag stitch for a couple of different things and then there's different stitch widths to use for those and I think that's a really good idea because then it saves you having to faff around testing and just go with what she says I would yeah listen to Tilly she knows what she's talking about okay so that's all I have to say for today I'm not sure what my pattern's going to be next month um so tuning on my August fabric and pattern haul to find out what that is I'm going to go out there and explore and see what takes my fancy I hope you have a nice day. I'll see you later.